Okay, for this next example, we're still doing the same thing. We're trying to find the, uh, the five other trig values. This time, they give us cosine is negative one fourth, but they tell us which quadrant that we're in. So based on that, we know that this should be drawn in the third quadrant because that's between 180 and 270. That's always gonna be your uh, third quadrant. So based on that, uh, we'll go ahead and draw our triangle. We'll start it out at zero, zero. Line comes down this way, and again, you want to bring that back up to the closest x-axis. It's always, you're bringing it up to the x-axis, and your theta is always measured from your x-axis uh, as well. So now we have this complete, we're ready to put in our numbers and label our sides. Cosine, the definition, is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the top number, one that's your adjacent, the bottom side is going to be a hypotenuse. Now one of those has to have a negative sign because the minus sign's on the outside, we need to assign a negative to one of those. Well, the hypotenuse should always be positive regardless of what quadrant uh, that you're in. That means the other side must be negative one. That makes sense also because the x value is going to the left, to the left of your y uh, axis. Those should all be negative anyway. So that's why this value should be a minus. We still need to figure out what this side is and we're gonna use Pythagorean theorem for that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Your c is always the longest side of the triangle opposite the right angle, so we know the four will go in there for our c. Uh, so for the other one, we have negative one will go in there, and so when we work this out, we get a squared plus one is gonna equal 16. We're gonna subtract one from both sides, and we get 15 for that one. Square root both sides, and we get plus or minus the square root of 15, and so when you take the square root, you do have a choice whether to make it positive or make it negative. We need to look at our picture and that's gonna tell us whether we wanna assign a positive value or a negative value. Because it drops below the x-axis here, everything below the x-axis that has to be negative. So I wanna assign a negative to that one when I put that in there. This is really, really important, probably the most important thing, this is where people make the most mistakes, is forgetting to put a minus sign there has to be a negative because it's below the x-axis. It's really important that you get the signs correct on this, otherwise the rest of these are gonna be wrong based on your picture, so the picture needs to be correct. Now that we have all the signs labeled correctly with negative here and a negative there, we're ready now to answer the rest of the question. So sign, sign our definition is opposite over hypotenuse. In this case, your opposite side is gonna be negative root 15. It's opposite or across from the triangle where the theta is at. So that's opposite over hypotenuse, negative root 15 over uh, four, we get there. We need to flip that, the reciprocal is gonna be our cosecant, so we do negative four divided by radical 15, and then again, you wanna make sure you rationalize this, so negative four root 15 over 15 uh, is what you get there. You can either leave a negative sign written uh, on top or you can put it out front, it doesn't matter as long as you have a negative in there somewhere as part of your answer. Next, we're gonna do tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. The opposite is negative root 15, the adjacent's gonna be negative one. So negative, root, negative square root of 15 divided by negative one is what we're gonna do for our tangent. So if I do that, that means the negatives are gonna cancel and I get just negative square root of 15 for my uh, tangent, opposite over adjacent. I need to take the reciprocal of this, and so I can write that as, as root 15 over one. So if I flip it, I get one over square root of 15. That would be my reciprocal. I need to rationalize it, so root 15 over 15, and that's gonna be my answer there for uh, cotangent. The last one, secant, would be the reciprocal of negative one fourth. So if I flip that, I'm gonna get negative four over one or just negative four.